Nigella Lawson's early career was as a journalist, critiquing books and food. Now she's the one writing best-selling cookbooks. She's bold, she's beautiful, and for her, tis the season for enticing food. Nigella Lawson is tonight's Plate List. I'm nearly always asked, like, what is your guilty pleasure? I always say, look, the one thing you should never feel guilty about is pleasure. You should feel guilty if you fail to take pleasure. This is an orzotto. So you've heard of risotto, and I do it with butternut squash. So this is just going to be roasted, onions, pearl or pot barley, some vermouth, or if you've got some white wine open, or sherry, anything, some vegetable broth. This cooks and only needs about 30 minutes. When I was a child, and I constantly bore my children with this, is that we didn't have like huge presents like people get now. We'd get, a, like, if we were lucky, we'd get a Christmas stocking, and it would be mostly filled with a few like paper dolls that you dressed by putting little tags on, and foil covered chocolate coins. But we used to get a pomegranate. And I remember we could spend the morning, we'd, we'd be allowed to cut open the pomegranate and we'd be winkling out those lovely sort of ruby seeds with a hair grip and eating it all morning. The barley is done. So this is half the squash and it's been whizzed up in a blender with half the mascarpone I'll be using. In this goes the rest of the mascarpone and the cooked cubes of unpeeled squash. It's a beautiful colour. And that just feeds everyone. It's so cozy and welcoming. Buon appetito. I think so many women uh, deny themselves pleasure in food, which I think leads to a very unhappy relationship with your own body anyway, that if you can allow yourself to take pleasure in food, then maybe you won't have to do that what's always rather idiotically called comfort eating, which is discomfort eating. There's something so mad about thinking there's one ideal way to be, and if you're not that, you failed. I, and I, I resist that reading of, of sort of womanhood. I think everyone wants dessert at this time of year, but this again is really uh, somehow sumptuous, but easy, and you cook it ahead. This is incredibly good bittersweet chocolate that I have crushed to smithereens in here. And now I'm just going to Pour some hot, heavy cream and milk. And the idea then is that you're melting the chocolate without having to do anything frightening on the heat. I'm going to crack an egg right down the funnel and leave it for about 45 seconds. Now, I'm not going to cook this. It just sets in the refrigerator. So obviously, anyone who can't eat raw egg can't eat this, and that's a great tragedy for them. This is sweetened chestnut puree. A bit of rum. And that is the extent of your labours. And then what you have is this really glorious little French petit pot with chestnut and chocolate. Mm. Happy holidays. I remember hearing my son talk to one of his school friends and his little friend said, oh, it's so annoying, you know, my mum always asks me what I did at school every day and, I, and my son said, you're lucky, all mine asks is what I had for lunch, <laughs> which is true, I think. <laughs> 